Hello traders, welcome to Simple Trading Style and today we are going to talk about daily stock market update and we will figure out is it, is it bull trend or it's a bull trap what's going on with the stock market world on a daily time frame. As usually let's move to 5 rules of risk management, please read it and follow it every single trade and you will be successful. Now it's a time for Vbull. Let's start from index chart for Vbull. It looks like market opened flat. It was gap down bef before the open. It opened flat and after that it was bullish all day. It was bullish all day, especially Nasdaq was very powerful bullish run by seven magnif mega stocks, right? By seven uh, mega stocks. Let's start from USA dollar. If you want to learn more about Vbull setup, just go to the description. There is the link about Vbull setup training and other links about Vbull and trading view and other trainings. Now let me briefly mention about my setup. I'm using some moving averages, white line MA200, purple line MA100, blue line MA50, yellow line MA20, red line MA10. Below MACD indicator lines are assigned indicator lines, awesome oscillator, that's all. Very simple, it's not easy because emotions involved. If you follow the indicators, you will be successful because indicators do not have emotions. Like on my chart, you see green line, SMA5 did bearish crossover over red line, was bearish trend, bearish entry for me. When green line SMA5 did bullish crossover over red line, for me it was bullish entry, bullish trend. As of now, SMA5 just did today bullish crossover, bullish trend, price action is bullish. Uh, let's see, price action is bullish, right? And it kind of created bearish divergence on RSI. And MACD, same bearish divergence on RSI, right? And similar bearish divergence on awesome oscillator. Price action is bullish, it did bounce from SMA 200, still bullish setup, bullish trend, bearish divergence is divergence, it means it's not a signal, it is building the condition, bearish condition. And today is very, very uh, weird, right? Dollar is bullish and look at it. And indexes and equities bullish also. Usually it's opposite. Now let's move to Q's. Q's daily, it was the, yesterday, it was bearish below Below yellow line, it was bearish trend, and today powerful move up, powerful move up, and it did close above MA MA twenty above yellow line. It's in the bullish territory with bearish divergences on all indicators. Bullish territory. We need confirmation tomorrow. If we are going to get green day, it will be confirmed bullish trend, or if it's going to be red, it means this one it was bull trap. We'll see. We'll see tomorrow. So far it looks bullish. For our time frame, same story, bullish crossover, bullish trend on all indicators. In one hour time frame, also powerful bullish trend, bullish crossover on all indicators. VXN volatility index for NASDAQ. Minus three and a half percent, it should be minus 13 percent, but I just small move today. Still no fear on the market. Last bar above SMA 200, but nothing critical happened. Still kind of sideways. SPX, S&P 500 daily. Uh, it was not so powerful like use. Last bar, it did move and touched SMA 20 yellow line, but SMA 10 red line did bearish crossover over, over yellow. It is kind of still in the bearish territory. All indicators, MACD, RSI, also oscillator, all bearish. I would consider this, it could be a bull trap. 
and it should be rejected from SMA 20 tomorrow. We'll see. If it's con if it's co going to continue bullish trend, it's bullish crossover. It will be different story. We'll see tomorrow. Four hours time frame, similar story. SMA 5, 10 and bars below 20. Now it's a fight between SMA between MA20 and MA50 blue line. Blue line support, yellow line resistant. Bearish trend. One hour time frame, it did bullish crossover. And yeah, but at the same time, bullish crossover, at the same time, it's a bearish setup. You see yellow line, MA20 did bearish crossover over 200. It is bearish setup. Definitely there's two bars, last two bars, they touched them at 100. It could be rejection, they will, they will be rejected and will continue bearish because MA20 yellow line below 200. VIX volatility index or S&P 500. Still last bar above MA200, MA5 and 10 above 200. Bullish trend on all indicators right okay now let's move to dow jones dia daily time frame ma5 and 10 did bearish crossover over 20 and 50 bearish trend on all indicators four hours time frame and my yeah last bar below all moving averages except 200 all indicators bearish bearish trend and one hour time frame it did bounce for last six hours it did touch the made to 20 yellow line and in this case yellow line is strong resistance it can be rejected from a made 20. on one hour time frame it did bullish crossover iwm daily last bar it's a green bar but still below ma20 even ma50 ma50 could be strong resistant now bearish trend all indicators bearish four hours time frame also bearish it did gap down you see this large gap down and it did bounce for last three bars still in the bearish territory bearish trend one hour time frame after the gap down oversold action it did bounce and last three hours it did touch the ma20 it could be rejection and can continue bearish trend apple apple daily from the bearish territory, it is powerful, strong bounce for 4% run because of the bullish divergences. Look at it, price action was bearish, but bullish divergences on all indicators worked very well today. Worked very well. And Apple now is bullish. Apple now did bullish crossover. We'll see tomorrow. It, tomorrow it can touch the May 50 and can be rejected. So far bullish reversal. Four hours, same story, bullish crossover, bullish reversal signal. One hour time frame, very powerful bullish trend. Last bar disconnected from all moving averages, but bullish trend are signed overbought territory. Very overbought territory. Tesla. Tesla did also bullish crossover over 20. It is bullish territory, but not so powerful. All indicators bullish. Four hours time frame, also bullish crossover, bullish trend on all indicators. And one hour time frame. Last bar above all moving averages, bullish trend. 
Nvidia. Nvidia very powerful today, plus 4%. Nice bullish reversal. It was bearish completely yesterday, and today it did nice bullish reversal. Not confirmed. It did close above 20, but it, we need confirmation bar tomorrow. If it's going to be red, it will be bull trap. If it's going to be green, it means it's bullish reversal. Four hours time frame, same bullish crossover, bullish reversal signal. One hour time frame, bullish trend, bullish right, bullish powerful trend. Microsoft daily last bar above all moving averages, bullish trend, four hours time frame. Last bar above all moving averages, bullish trend. And one hour time frame. Last bar also above all moving averages, bullish trend. Amazon. Amazon daily. Let's start daily. Last bar above all moving averages, still bullish trend. And bearish divergences on all indicators. Let's see. Yeah, light bearish divergences, but still in place. MACD, RSI, and awesome oscillator. Still bearish divergences, bullish trend. Four hours time frame for Amazon. Same bullish trend, bearish divergences. One hour time frame, same bullish trend on all indicators. And bearish divergences even on one hour time frame. Look at it. Google. Google last bar above all moving averages, bullish trend all time high. Bullish trend on all indicators with bearish divergences. Four hours time frame, same bullish trend, bearish divergences on all indicators. And one hour time frame, bullish trend and bearish divergences on all indicators. Same trend. And Meta, Meta daily. Meta Facebook, last bar above all moving averages, bullish trend. Bullish price action and bearish divergences on MACD, same on RSI, and same on the awesome oscillator. Bullish trend, right? Four hours time frame. It started bearish reversal and now it's returned back to bullish. Could be a bull trap, bearish divergences, bullish reversal signal. Daily bullish, bearish divergences. And one hour time frame, also bullish. Bullish signal, bullish trend. That's all. Let's do summary. Like I told you, dollar is positive bullish on daily, right? And equity is bullish. And look at it on weekly. Weekly dollar is bullish also. It did bullish crossover. Very powerful bullish dollar. And it means bearish for equities. And equities like Qs weekly still kind of flat for last six, seven weeks. And it did bearish divergence on uh, yeah, bearish divergence on our sign of ICD on all indicators. That's kind of a yeah, bullish trend, but bearish divergences. I believe this is a bull trap and it will do reversal tomorrow. If not, it means we change direction from bearish to bullish. Let's see tomorrow. Tomorrow we will, we will have confirmation. Is it bullish trend or it's a bull trap now let's move to my disclaimer i am not a financial advisor this video for educational and informational purposes only remember for educational purpose 
if you're using paper trading simulator thank you for watching simple trading style videos i do publish daily weekly monthly updates for stocks etfs indexes and cryptos please subscribe this youtube channel click like button to support this channel i really appreciate all your efforts thank you so much and good luck bye now